single beautiful woman out there, and I mean this too, and it's an old saying that you've probably heard over and over again, and I'm sure that I will repeat it over the course of this video at least once. For every beautiful woman out there on social media who posts to Instagram, who posts to Facebook, who's looking for any form of, how do I say, uh, attention, any likes, any comments, any compliments, anything like that, I just want you to know right now that there is always an ex-boyfriend to that girlfriend who literally had enough of her crap and chose, chose shortly after that to settle down with a girl like this here. Good morning, y'all. Quick update on the house because I've been pretty terrible about giving y'all these. Um, we took a little break for noodling season and to put out boxes. Now that it's dried in, we can do it at our own pace. But here she is. We're going to stain all that wood a darker brown and the shutters. It's probably not the fact that she's a tomboy. It's probably not the fact that she's a tom girl. It's probably the fact that she was just raised correctly. Yes, she hunts and fishes and does some manlier stuff, but still at the same time, though, she probably does it because she was probably raised to do so. I just figured I pointed that out before we get I started. could be wrong, and maybe my investigative skills are not the best in the world. If you don't think that's the case, and you actually investigate this girl's page, and you find something that I did not spot, I couldn't see where the girl had a brother or anything like that. So it, it, I just, I just kind of get the feeling that uh, even if she did, that daddy or mama and daddy obviously raised this girl a certain way. I don't think you can fault the parents for this, especially given the fact that, like she may have already said, she's from South Alabama. Obviously, she was raised to be a country girl. Like I said, you're going to hear me say this a lot. She was obviously raised to be a country girl, and obviously, she was brought up definitely a lot more, uh, let's just say she was brought up a lot more, uh, a lot more right, to use a Southern phrase. I don't see anything about this girl that's unattractive at all. I think this Samira just doesn't understand how the American male views attraction. I really and truly don't understand why such things go viral. But then again, though, we're here once again to talk about a story that, quite frankly, went viral for reasons that I do not understand. But... Let me take a minute to kind of explain to you why it is that uh, most men or most men that live in the real world uh, would prefer to have this over the person that's tweeting it. So this ordeal went viral over the weekend. It kind of reminds me of the Kate Girl story, which I did not cover. Uh, the Kate Girl story is a funny story that uh, went viral because a girl decided to post a uh, video of herself uh, baking a cake. And of course she's got relatively uh, sizable knockers. And uh, it was a video that was made three months before it went viral, but then somehow it managed to go viral because somebody told a joke in the chat. And then next thing you know, you got people being called fake Christians, all kinds of stuff like that there. I'm pretty sure you may have heard about that story, but if you have not, trust me, you're not missing anything. Just more and more and more drama that got ultra dirty. But still, though, it makes me wonder if this right here is going to end up being like this. Now, here's the video that was actually shared of the girl who is clearly from, uh, let's just say she's clearly from the Deep South. Now, me, I'm from the South, so therefore I can obviously attest that there are girls like this. But let me also say this before we go any further. There's a difference between the Southern Girl Grift, which I'm going to cover somewhat in this video because some people are alluding and saying that uh, this right here is what it is. However, if you actually check the girl's social media, it's really just videos of her going fishing. It's really just videos of her building stuff. And of course, a very, very prominent figure in those videos, or at least in those photos on her Instagram and TikTok and even Twitter, are she does a lot of these activities with her dad. But let's watch the video that actually went viral. Good morning, y'all. Quick update on the house because I've been pretty terrible about giving y'all these. Um, we took a little break for noodling season and to put out boxes. Now that it's dried in, we can do it at our own pace. But here she is. We're going to stain all that wood a darker brown. And the shutters, when we get that on, we'll have handrails, of course. There's the carport over there. Quick run through. All these trusses are gonna be exposed and we're gonna have old tin in the ceiling. Got daddy and Paul up there working on a wall we're gonna put up for the upstairs office. And we got Def Leppard playing in the background, of course. Back porch, beautiful view. 
and then the walkway to the carport. <sighs> I'll try to be better about these, but you can also use my code HANNAH25 for 20. Now, obviously the accent was kind of thick. Obviously you're thinking to yourself, my God, Claymore, you sound almost, no, 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 her accent is definitely a little bit thicker, but a lot of people are calling uh, the guys on Twitter who have responded saying that the girl is attractive. A lot of these people are saying that uh, American women are too tomboyish or tom girlish. There's even some guys calling some men gay for saying that she's attractive. Now, I could be very, very cute and say that this is a coming out of the closet moment for me by saying that this girl is, in fact, very, very attractive. And I do find this girl very attractive, talking about the girl that I'm showing you guys in the B-roll footage. Uh, but the thing is this right here, I don't see anything wrong with this at all. If you actually take a very good look at her social media, it's like I said, it's mostly activities that she does around her father. She's clearly a girl that's like in her mid to late 20s, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Not shaming her for that. But the girl who decided to share this, many people have wondered if said girl who shared this photo and caused it to go viral, that said this video, and basically uh, insulted her, many people are wondering if she did it for additional clout. Well, seeing how it is that this particular woman does have a profile on Twitter and she does have an actual respectable following, uh, she is definitely a little bit more aligned with my worldview, but still at the same time, though, I don't think that this was a good idea to shame this girl. Now, either way, the girl who's being shamed, it looks like it's um, the name on the account is Hannah Barron. Obviously, she's gaining a big following as a result of this. However, I don't think that it was meant to be done this way. A part of me thinks that maybe what's happening here is that maybe somebody could be a little bit jealous that said country girl can do a few more things that the other girl obviously cannot do. Why are we talking about this? Because obviously it's stupid stuff. And quite frankly, I want to discuss the stupid stuff and the stupidity of this entire ordeal. Okay, so... Let me ask you guys a question. What do most men do? Most manly men. They go hunting, we go fishing, we work on cars, all that type of stuff there. Now, me personally, I'm not really in a position to actually go do that the way I want to do it, even though I personally fishing is kind of a fishing is kind of a night and day thing for me. Every now and again I like to go, but then again at the same time I'm also like, man, dude, I really would much rather be doing something else. Still though at the same time, you go fish to obviously eat. Some people love the trophy fish, and of course some people love the trophy hunt. Got nothing against hunting at all i mean go right ahead look i love venison as much as the next guy so go right ahead and go shoot you a deer obviously you see photos like this and you might be thinking that this girl right here once again is doing the good old-fashioned country girl grift there's a difference between the country girl grift the photos that you see on instagram where they're actually extremely sexual and extremely seductive those right there are not country girls those right there are just what we call sluts and boots this girl here miss hannah she appears to be the kind of girl that obviously likes to do things like hunt, fish, and of course, do a little bit of work around the house. And she seems to know exactly what it is that she's doing, case in point. Y'all ever wondered what a 500 foot roll of inch and a quarter pecs looks like? And if you wanna know how fun it is to unroll this mess, not very. Especially when it's, you know, 100 freaking degrees out here in South Alabama. But at least the heat will help it straighten out. Appreciate Another thing I want to point out really quick. Now, while this girl, Samira, decided that she wanted to post what she posts, and like, and you're probably going to hear me say this a little bit later on in the video, uh, the girl, Hannah, she's obviously gaining a lot of followers, and quite deservedly so, because Samira here obviously underestimated the... Uh, the male market, or at least the male market that lives in the actual real world and not La La Land. Going to that guy who was saying that if you find this attractive, you're gay. <sighs> have you checked yourself in the mirror yet, dude? I'm just asking. Ha ha have you looked in the mirror? Because obviously this girl, very, very cute face. You're obviously seeing some photos here. Um... Obviously, this chick is uh, pretty daggone attractive. If you don't think this girl's attractive, I have no idea what's wrong with it. I, I, just, I just can't figure it out. Maybe you, sir, need to kind of like take a look in the mirror on that one. Obviously, a lot of men are going to find this girl attractive. I mean, you find what you find attractive. There are some men out there who have some very, very weird uh, taste when it comes to the topic of attractiveness. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole right now. But the thing is this right here. 
Uh, men who find Miss Hannah attractive, obviously that's their preference, and I don't blame them for feeling that way. As a matter of fact, as I mentioned, I may have mentioned already before, she is actually quite attractive. She just happens to have a bigger set of balls than you do, man. Not literal balls, but you guys know what I'm saying. Yes, I love this girl's accent. Yes, it's definitely much, much thicker than mine. I've got a North Carolina accent, and obviously, if she's telling the truth there, which I believe she is, she's obviously in Southern Alabama. So why in the world would you call this girl here unattractive and tomboyish? Well, it obviously shows you guys the disconnect that we have, even amongst conservatives like myself. Sometimes we tend to, uh, let's just say, ignore those who live in a certain a certain area of the world. I talked about this in a previous video, how it's actually rural versus urban, or I uh, talked about Eric Prince saying that the incoming situation that we have in this country, the incoming divide is rural versus urban. This has kind of got to do with this. Now, the lady who shared this, Samira, and you've also got this guy named Sad, S-A-A-D, the guy who's calling guys gay for hitting the like button on this girl's post. Uh, the thing is this right here. This girl here is obviously the more high maintenance type. And I know that this video is becoming a bit of a rant. It's devolving into it, but quite frankly, I don't care. The thing is this right here. While high maintenance women, for the most part, do obviously uh, throw their femininity out there and obviously their beauty. And of course, we love looking at that and we love uh, being around that type. However, we don't love being around that type for good. There's an old saying for every beautiful woman out there, especially a beautiful woman out there on social media that posts to social media, there is another man out there who, quite frankly, is tired of her crap, tired of her BS. It looks great on the surface. It feels great to be around. But after a while, it gets tiring because you find out that said girl that you were just involved with tends to end up being a lot more about herself and herself alone, about her following, all that type of stuff. And you're probably saying to yourself, well, isn't Miss Hannah doing the exact same thing? It's possible, but still at the same time, if you actually go to the girl's social media, you will see that it's really more of a lifestyle for her uh, to go hunting and fishing and, of course, play around with great big old giant bass, that sort of thing there. I mean, I'm not really seeing anything like her going mudding or anything like that. They're doing it for clicks and views, even though obviously she's taking advantage of social media to a certain extent. But if you actually go through and actually scroll the social media, it just ends up being her doing stuff that uh, a lot of men do. Now, how do I personally feel about that? Well, obviously, I would prefer my women to be a lot more feminine. But still at the same time, though, this girl here who obviously goes out and does things like, say, hunts and fishes, uh, she's probably well-raised, meaning that she's probably raised right. Now, granted, it probably would not be the first choice for a man like myself or any of the single men out there to choose her, especially given the fact that you've kind of gotten the glitter effect with the girl who's a little bit more high maintenance that puts more uh, focus on her beauty. But the thing is this right here, there's beautiful knowing that you're beautiful, and then there's beautiful not knowing that you're beautiful. Country girl is obviously the one who falls in the category of being beautiful, not knowing that she's beautiful, almost like the girl next door type. The thing is this right here. The girl who's obviously out here building stuff, working with her father, the country girl, obviously this Tom girl, of course, that is what they're calling her. Obviously, this girl right here has a better idea of how to take care of a man. She's been raised correctly. She probably can cook, not only can she fish, she probably can clean. She probably knows how to maintain a house. That's basically what I'm saying here, especially nowadays, the fact that we live in a world where a lot of people out there, quite frankly, don't know how to take care of a home, which I also find very interesting, especially given the fact that Samira here chose, for whatever reason, to uh, share photos of Melania Trump. Now, bear with me on this next part. Look, now, I don't know for sure if this is true or not. But right now, the speculation is that uh, the person who shared the photo, Samira, some people are saying that this person is a T, but then again, though, it's also, this person is also from Pakistani. So I'm going to kind of refrain from talking about uh, attractiveness or unattractiveness because the truth be told is that, uh, yeah, I just don't think it's a good idea to bring that up in this video, especially if you don't have proof. I'm talking about what was actually shared. So if anybody is wondering why it is that I don't go into further detail about Samira rather than the actual tweet itself, that right there is a reason why. 
I don't really know enough about this person except the fact that she posted, obviously, or retweeted uh, what was apparently a pretty daggone insulting video of a girl saying that the voice was unattractive, the accent was terrible, and that American women are trash. By the way, I will say this really quick. There are a lot of American women out there that are, in fact, not desirable for whatever reason. However, there's also a lot of American women out there that are, in fact, very desirable and a lot more that were raised correctly. Unlike the ones that you see in the videos, like It's Complicated, or the ones that are uh, living a life of abundance, or Cheek Slaying Headquarters, or the Red Pill Manosphere, love to point out, love to talk about the girls who admit to doing God knows whatever out there on the street to whoever out there, because they want that crap on the internet for whatever reason. I'm talking about the girls who admit to having multiple threesomes, screwing a guy behind their boyfriend's back while under the vehicle, that type of stuff there. That type of stuff right there is obviously daggone repulsive. It's pretty daggone hard nowadays to find an actual woman that hasn't done this type of stuff. And of course, you're always in some form of uh, paranoia. But trust me when I say this, there are some good girls out there that do in fact exist. And it looks to me like Miss Hannah here was one of those girls that just so happened to be raised correctly. Just figure I'd say that before we go. I want to say this about Melania. All right. Melania Trump was actually a successful businesswoman before she got to the United States. Yes, it's true. She modeled. Yes, it's true. She posed nude, that type of stuff there. But still the thing is this right here. She was already a multi-millionaire when she got to the United States. As a matter of fact, when Trump got elected, Melania was not okay with going into the White House and living there because she wanted to continue to help, uh, let's just say, rear and teach Barron. Sounds to me like Melania Trump is exactly what a man might would want. I mean, I'm not so much talking about the style or anything. I mean, you can be high maintenance and still be a very, very good woman. You can obviously be high maintenance and not only be a good woman, but actually be a good wife. And also to go on top of that, be a good mother and a good provider, even a good homemaker to a certain extent. I'm not saying that Samira is not, even though I just mentioned earlier that we really and truly don't know. I don't really know the full details on Samira. I mean, I'm assuming that she's an actual literal biological woman. It's just the whole thing about her possibly being a T was just tossed around the internet. That's why I said I didn't really want to get too much into it. But the fact of the matter is this right here. The situation with Melania actually correlates very, very well with the young girl that we're talking about, Miss Hannah. Obviously, this right is a girl that appears to be, have been raised right. This right obviously appears to be a girl who knows how to do some things that even a lot of men don't know how to do. This is obviously a girl that not only does that, but this is also a girl that also happens to be, I know I'm saying also a lot, but she happens to be pretty daggone attractive. Almost like Shania Twain. Here that we got to send back because the block man didn't need them all. You know, pretty tall. And when I jumped up, I had my sunglasses right here in this little overall pocket. And they fell down in one of the holes in the bricks and went all the way to the bottom. So Carolina might get a brand new pair of Blue Otter sunglasses. Because I don't think I can get them out. But... Go back to what I was saying about Melania Trump. Obviously, this girl Hannah, the country girl, she's obviously been taught to do the exact same thing. Take care of a home. All right, so at the end of the day, that's that's kind of what we want. All right, we want loyalty. We want the lady to be attractive. We also would prefer her to be honest, which, of course, coincides with loyalty. Obviously, it's got to fit like a glove to a certain extent. There's obviously got to be some chemistry there. But one thing that we really and truly do care about, especially the older we get as men, is we care about the, uh, let's just say, a little bit of humbleness. We do like some confidence, but you got to be able to balance it out. The girl, Samira, the ones that she's talking about, the Kim Kardashian types, which I don't even know if Kim's really a good, uh, good choice to make here because the, uh, I guess, I guess the recent videos that have came out showing a different side of her. I really don't, I don't, I don't really dive into that, but still the thing is this right here. The extremely high maintenance type, while it is attractive at first, after a while it's not desirable long term, especially when the attractiveness eventually wears off. If we want to start a family, and of course we want to build a home, we would actually prefer to do it with Tom girl or the country girl. We would prefer to do that because, as I mentioned earlier, it appears that she was raised right, which at the end of the day is what we care about. We care about the ability to have a, an environment we can go home to, knowing that uh, our wife actually cares about the children, actually cares about the home that she's creating, even if she's definitely a better builder than a good portion of men, or even if she's better at fishing than a lot of men. Fact of the matter is that this tweet that went viral showing this lady, this girl, Hannah, she's getting a lot of new followers. 
obviously for good reason, because Samira obviously underestimated the American male, which also goes to the divide that we have in this country, showing more and more and more that it is, in fact, urban versus rural. With that right there being said, guys, I want to go ahead and halt this video now. Make sure you guys please tell me what you think. I really truly want to hear what you guys have got to say. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, sound off in the comment section, and I'll see you guys later.